Hello and welcome to uh, 6.2 Comparing and Ordering Integers. I'm your host today. I'm Mr. Baleen. Uh, welcome back to our online homeworks. Uh, you can follow along with us here or if you want to use page 256 in your textbook you can use that as well. Uh, please read along with me as I read out loud. We're going to start right around here. When you compare two numbers you are finding out if the first number is greater than, less than, or equal to the second number. You usually use the following symbols and we showed the three symbols there. Back in elementary school you may have recognized such things as 4 and 6 and created this sign which is known as the less than symbol because 4 is less than 6. Though if you are having a good time you may have even drawn in some old teeth a little dot and created the evil monster that always liked to chew the bigger number. On a number line, we learned this back last week, the numbers to the left are less than all the numbers to the right. So you can fill that in as I fill it up on the board. Our directions are compare. So that's what tells me it's a greater than, less than, or equal to question. However, even though you could probably figure this out, we're going to use a number line because it's our first time dealing with negatives here. Use a number line to compare negative 5 and negative 3. Looking at our number line, we're going to go to negative 5. Notice it's numbered for us, so we can put the dot on negative 5 and we establish the point by writing it above it. I will do the same for negative 3, which belongs right here. And that should tell me, since the numbers over here are lower than the numbers over on the right, which are higher, that will tell me that negative 5 is in fact lower than negative 3. So my answer will be down here, negative 5 is less than negative 3. Notice again though, it is chomping at the larger number. You can pause this video as we flip to the next screen if you need to, to fill in all the information you need. And we're ready for the second type of question, which is known as an order question. It says, when you order numbers, you are putting them in, putting multiple numbers in order, usually from least to greatest. So if we look at this particular one, we are doing least to greatest. We are going to use our number line, and thankfully it's numbered again for us. So we're going to establish all those points. So here's the first point, negative 4. Here's our second point, 3. Here's our third point, 0. First, fourth point, negative 1 and fifth point is here at negative 2 and this created the order for me from lowest to biggest aka least to greatest so I should put in my final answer by putting those numbers in order and hopefully identifying it by boxing, in, boxing it in making it clear. These types of questions eventually we won't need a normal line for but the first time dealing with negatives it's smart to do and we're going to do it on this page you can pause this before we go to the back and give you our final information. On the back, reminder that you are going to complete these five on your own questions and then you will enter your answers using the online response on your Google Classroom. Uh, the first few should look pretty familiar. You will graph it properly, put the correct symbol between. In number three, you will put them in order after graphing it. And then you can check out number four and five, which are generally a little bit tougher. Number four asks for an explanation. And in number five, you're going to have to use the skills that we learned last week to also number your number line. So I wish you good luck. Make sure you have everything filled in. And we'll go over this tomorrow. <laughs>